the hate only came from American girls. That's it. Yeah, because they're entitled. I think, uh, like, I still have old-fashioned views. I think women should work, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think they should be the main source of income. I think their main job should be taking care of the kids, taking care of the cooking, the cleaning, yeah. things like that, because that's just what women were mm -hmm. originally, that's what they were known to do. And a lot of women are still like that. Yeah. But the women that aren't like that, they're like, I'm independent, I don't need no man, blah, blah, blah. They just want to feel like they're, you know, equal yeah. To a man, like they can do just as good as a man can, or whatever, and they can. Yeah, they could, but uh, that's just not the duty that women were brought up to do. Hey guys, welcome to episode one twenty five, the False Nine Podcast. Here with another episode. Get your week started today. With uh, with our show, with our episode, uh, and we're gonna get right into it. Andrew Tate, <clears throat> uh, censorship, um, got out of prison, canceling. Uh, that's really, really what we're gonna talk about. But yeah, like you said, Andrew Tate just got released out of prison on the thirty first. And Tristan Tate, and Tristan, which was on Friday, right? Friday, the yeah, Friday first. Which uh, I guess a little is backwards from Friday the thirteenth. Oh. I guess. But the biggest, like, like what's that conspiracy music? Whatever dun, dun, dun. Something like that. Um, the Matrix came out. And he's a big uh, dude. He's a guy that talks about the Matrix, the Matrix. a lot. So yeah. I thought that was pretty... Uh, 24 pretty years to the day. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. It was. That's crazy. But what if they, like... What if they did that on purpose? Like, That'd let him out cool. on that day on purpose to... Just like just stir the pot a little bit. That would be cool. I don't see why not. Have yeah. some fun with it. Yeah. Have you already fucking with Andrew Tate? But let's talk about kind of uh when they got arrested. They originally got arrested on December 29th, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, too, I'm sorry. But from what I, the information I found was December 29th, 2022. At least they waited till after Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. That's nice. That's nice of them. But I believe they were arrested there was a lot of rumors that came out and in mm -hmm. one including like the human trafficking um and what was the other as well as employing up to 75 women in the webcam business of who have accused tate of kidnapping and sexual assault um but when you first i guess heard those news that like they went to jail didn't believe it you didn't believe it I or know. like we talked about that i didn't believe it I was like innocent until proven guilty. I don't. No, no, no. But I'm saying like your first instinct as, oh, they got to jail. Were you like, oh, damn, they got him, or were you like, oh, damn, like really? Or like, what was your thought? Like, not, not like if he should have been locked up. Like, why? Like when you saw that he, Andrew Tate, and Tristan Tate are going to jail. What were your first thoughts immediately? I mean, I was kind of surprised, but uh, like the same surprise that I feel when any celebrity goes to jail. Yeah, because you always feel like celebrities are kind of untouchable or i mean nowadays you see it a lot more often where celebrities are like doing real real jail time yeah but my first thought was like damn bro he called this yeah like they got like they got him yeah that was the weirdest thing i think when when yeah. um i heard about it was he kept talking about how they're going to come after him mm -hmm. he's not going to be surprised if they go to jail if he gets killed yeah he um, was like step one they try to cancel you mm -hmm. step two throw you in jail step three yeah. Kill you. Just crazy. Can you imagine if, like, that's part of all his plan? Like, he he uh, planned that out? <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, like, for, like, a money thing. Um, but cause cause he, literally, he literally called it, like, first yeah. they tried to cancel him. Then he got thrown in jail. The only thing left is they'll try to kill him, mm -hmm. which is possible. But because I heard that he had, like, lung cancer, like, really bad lung cancer. He did? Or does. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I... That's what... Like, was trending that uh, Andrew Tay has really bad lung cancer, like stage three or stage four lung cancer, and he wasn't getting the proper treatment in jail. Mm -hmm. So they were like, he's going to die. But he has hair. I don't know if that just... No, well, chemo is what takes your hair away. Oh, okay, So okay. obviously, if he wasn't getting the right treatment in oh. jail, he wasn't doing chemo, so mm -hmm. his hair stayed. Um, chemo and radiation and stuff like... Tr cancer treatment is what makes you lose your hair. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I thought it was the cancer itself. No, it's the cancer that. treatment. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. so... Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's what I was. I, I heard, I read, and I don't know if that's true. And but. I thought when like he got locked up, I was like, okay, this is just like um, 
they have like done this to him before. Like they put him in jail for like a day or two, and then they. Get oh out. yeah, yeah, but this, this happened, was like yeah, this one was like nobody was like oh he he's gonna be put in jail months or yeah. or weeks. I was like he's gonna get released soon. Like it, it'll be fine. Yeah, and and they really didn't have any like concrete evidence, but uh-huh. Romania is a different place, different country. They probably yeah. follow a different set of rules. So, um. I was watching a podcast, the one that, like, the clip we were watching, I think it's PBD podcast. Uh-huh. That guy, uh, he had the lawyer, the Tate lawyers, the, the Tate lawyer on the podcast. Uh-huh. And she was talking about how... Oh, it's Ro- a girl? Yeah. How Romania... Kind of yeah, it's kind of ironic, yeah, isn't very. it? Um, how Romania, like, had this investigation under the Tates for, like, two years or a year or something like that. It uh-huh. was one or two years. And they were trying to get them for, like, the same thing, organized crime and... uh was it human trafficking or yeah whatever and how they just could not find evidence like and that's why the investigation was so long and that's why they couldn't put him in jail yeah and then right now what they were doing there was a loophole that they kept doing where they would like detain them mm-hmm. and i wish i knew or remember what the loophole was but the 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 system would do something that would cause them to stay in jail for 30 more days so they kept doing this one loophole and kept leaving them in jail for 30 more days, 30 uh-huh. more days, 30 more days. So in reality, they could have been released a long time ago, but then they just wanted to keep them in jail. Yeah. And so that was pretty interesting to hear about because then now he got released and it's like, well, I mean, it's, he they didn't have anything on him, bro. Yeah. They, and they like, they still don't and they probably won't. And and I think that uh, I, I really feel like Romania wasn't the one after him. No, I think uh, I think they probably got paid off by. America, some, some, some American, rich or person another another country to kind of quiet him for at least a little while. Because when he got locked up, bro, he was like up, 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 like he was going up. Well, he up, already had up, got up. removed off the socials, which was already pretty insane. Yeah, but didn't he? Uh, hadn't he got brought back? He got brought back on Twitter because Elon Musk. Yeah, you know, which yeah. was pretty cool. Um, but I mean, yeah, it started off with him being removed off these platforms and. And we can kind of start talking about right now just the rise of Andrew Tate mm-hmm. was what like almost about a year ago it feels like or hasn't been that long. I think it's been longer, of, no. but we didn't hop on it until like a year ago. Because that's when he really started like trending like like I guess negatively. Because like it's been longer than a year. No? I don't think so. A year ago, I had just left. I had just is that how you say it? I had just left? Yeah. Uh, the car sales. It was literally in March is when I left. So it couldn't... No, when I started, like, I guess, uh, seeing his stuff on TikTok, it was, like, in the, around the summer, to be honest. At least, mm. I think, for me. Yeah, I mean, I started seeing him a lot, but I didn't really hop on the hype train yeah. until I really started paying attention to him. And I was like, oh, shit. But... But either... So we'll just say a year. About a yeah, year. Yeah, it's been about a year. But anyways, he started just crazily trending. And when I saw his stuff, it was just, like... You want you want to be rich, like do this, do that. Like it was just like how like rich motivational things that For he men. would say, yeah. And um, and then it kind of led more to like the dating stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think I think personally, I think Tate noticed that that stuff got a lot of attention, so he kept because for a minute that's all he talked about yeah, was like the whole it. yeah, like the whole woman the women thing. Yeah, and I think he definitely just amplified it and and went crazy about it. Um. And then, I mean, I've always, like, I don't want to say, like, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I guess you could say I'm a fan of, of Tate. You know, I like a lot of what he says, but there's some things that I don't agree with. But I think um, some of the things he says is to get attention and yeah. and everything. I mean, he, he actually might believe everything he says, but I mm-hmm. think he wouldn't say some of it if it weren't for the controversial, mm-hmm. the controversy behind what he says that gets attention comments yeah 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 and that's I mean, how that's how people get paid at the end of the day yeah so when he was stuff. popping i was like man this guy's kind of cool he looks swagged out he's in a private jet you got cool glasses smoking a cigar yeah he just looks cool you know you're like you know as a guy we i think most guys want to be cool in some form or way like they want to like look <clears throat> and feel cool or feel some type of way like yeah feel, he's like the top you know. g he's yeah, like yeah, yeah somebody that men can look up to because he's passionate he's Mm -hmm. dominant he's confident he's everything that guy every guy wants to be yeah and i mean rich yeah and and then uh i think girls just started hating him crazy yeah yeah uh 
I mean, he's he said some controversial things, some misogynistic things. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think he's misogynistic. At the end of the day, he does no. have a girlfriend that he's been with for a long time. Does he have a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and I just like I said, I just think he says these things because that's his beliefs, but I don't think he means them in a demeaning way to women. Mm-hmm. I just think that. He's old fashioned. Yeah, I think it was crazy how many uh, girls got upset about it. So many. Bro. Like it was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and it was a little. Uh, it was so much that it was like a little like, like what is there to be mad about? You know? Yeah, yeah. I under like because there's a lot of things that I feel, and I don't say this in, uh, uh like I guess a biased way because I'm a guy, but you know you always hear like, in the past you've heard it. There was like a trend or a moment where girls were always saying like men aren't shit. And stuff yeah i was about to say the you same know? thing and and it's like okay like that's fine like that's how you feel cool like yeah. it's it is what it is but it, um he started he didn't ever really say like women ain't shit but he was being more traditional and like old-fashioned like you said like basically women are beneath men kind yeah of, he kind made it without, seem like that yeah yeah he that's kind of what he was saying which is old-fashioned but and and how women need to like cook and oh clean. you know just very traditional stuff yeah which is and but he in the modern time, I guess it makes sense why a lot of girls would be upset. But I was like, he's not saying anything different. Uh, that was always my uh, perspective on it. I was like, he's not saying anything different. He's not saying anything new. Everything that he's saying has been said in the past. It's something that's a lot of guys, especially you know old fashioned guys that were you know raised a certain way. Like they think like this. Yeah. This is the their thought process, and this is how they think it should be. Mm-hmm. You know, and and maybe even in countries like. I'm sure in countries like Saudi Arabia, um, China, where, where those like women like they can't even like show skin on yeah, the streets. It's, it's like that in a lot you know? of places. America is just like everybody is so fucking entitled here. Yeah, even women. And and it's like, um, you know, you go to those certain countries like I think in Qatar, or or like Cristiano Ronaldo, right? He he went to go play in Saudi Arabia, and he has a girlfriend. He's not married. He has a girlfriend. They have like two or three kids together. Mm-hmm. They're not married though. And in in Saudi Arabia, you're not allowed. It's against the law to live with somebody if you're not married to them. Hmm. So they made an exception because it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. But uh, and that he was he's getting paid to play there. But it like it's illegal. And in, in in Qatar, you're not allowed to touch the 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 girl in the streets. Like you're not allowed to touch your girlfriend in the streets unless you're married. No, not even if you're married. Oh, like yeah. you just can't touch, like, yeah, hold like, hands or nothing? I believe, I don't know about the holding hands, but I believe, like, you can't be hugging like up PDA on her. Yeah, like, you just can't. Like, it's it's against the law, and it's against their morals, I guess, too. You know, and it's things like that. It's like, um, we're in these, uh, what is it, what does it call, like, the east side of the, eastern part of the world, where, and that's exactly where Andrew Tate's from. Like, he's on the east side. We're on the west yeah, side. in Romania. And it's just, like, they have a lot of different beliefs, and they have a little, a lot of different systems, and I feel like those countries are a lot more religious too. Mm-hmm. So you also got to think about like he's coming from a, pers- a perspective and a point of view from Romania, yeah. like and maybe the women there are more of what he's speaking about, you know. Yeah. And I definitely think the hate only came from American girls. That's it. Yeah, because they're entitled. I think uh, like I still have old fashioned views. I think women should work. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think they should be the main source of income. I think their main job should be like a housekeeper, not, not like yeah. a housekeeper. That's f- fucked up to say. Like <laughs> taking care of the kids, taking care of the cooking, the cleaning, yeah. things like that. Cause that's just what women were mm-hmm. originally. That's what they were known to do. And a lot of women are still like that. Yeah. But the women that aren't like that, they're like, I'm independent. I don't need no man, blah, blah, blah. They just want to feel like they're, you know, equal yeah. To a man, like they can do just as good as a man can, or whatever, and they can. Yeah, they could, but uh, that's just not the duty that women were brought up to do. But yeah. now everything's shifting to where some women are making much more money than men mm-hmm. in the which, household. Which is, I think, it could cause uh, some problems, like in a relationship with like the income thing. But it's like if a girl gets a girl wants to get with the guy who, who basically is a man. And yeah. then I say that like someone who works, someone that can provide, someone that can be there and protect the family. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's what a girl wants out of a man. Yeah. And it's always been like that. It has never changed. Yeah. And why is it any different for a man to want certain expectations or women like expectations 
you know, like the cooking part, the cleaning part, the uh, taking care of the family, like nurturing part. Like, I think those are two separate roles that a man and a woman have to, to, <clears throat> to basically do in a household or however the relationship is. But ain't no girl t- doesn't desirely want a guy who can't protect her or who can't provide. Yeah, I mean, no girl there, wants are, that. there are some stay-at-home dads. Yeah. Uh, like, I had a stay-at-home dad. Um, but it's just, like, for me... I don't know. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I couldn't let. But you can, my girl go to work. You can be a stay at home dad, and I think still provide some form of like protection. Or, well, then at uh, that point, you're the nurturer. Yeah, or like even like cutting the grass. Yeah, um, making sure like stuff outside, like that you needed like handyman work, little handyman work, mm-hmm. things like that. That like, oh, like the dad should do it, or the or the man should do it in the in the yeah. in the household. If right? the woman has a really good job, yeah, then I yeah, obviously that's okay, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, like for me, it would be like, I don't, I don't feel like I need to make more money than yeah. whoever I'm with, but I feel like that I need to not be like, I don't want her to be the brand when I just sit at home and do nothing. Yeah. That would bother me. But I think cause I hate yeah, yeah, getting yeah. shit from, but me. I think the biggest issue too, is just like, let's say you and your girl are walking down and this happened to me. Um, and I was in San Antonio. It's just like, so I heard somebody like chirping and I, I want to say they were talking about my girl. Mm-hmm. And it's just like I was ready to like whatever was going to happen. Like if I got yeah. to like fight somebody or oh, whatever. Me the other day. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like you don't. A girl doesn't want to be with the guy who's going to punk out. Yeah, even if you get beat up, you know. But you want to be yeah, able to gotta, provide yeah. the the layer of protection for the girl, you know. And and you'll see in many instances uh, that I've seen and been in, and even like movie shows where the man will step up for the woman, like mm-hmm. as a layer of protection. It's like no girl wants to be with the guy who's going to gonna punk out and be like oh take her or yeah. like you know whatever and 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 that's something that a woman or, or a girl and she thinks in her head automatically like that's what the guy's gonna do yeah right and 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 as a man we i think most men most men i say most they kind of like like being and want to be that layer of protection and it's almost like a natural instinct to be honest yeah for most men. for most yeah. yeah for most men and but that's something that men also don't have to do if you want to get into like, oh, well, I don't have to cook. I don't have to do this. Like as a, as a girl mm-hmm. or as a man, I was like, well, fuck, I don't got to protect you or I don't got to like go cut the yard. You cut the yard or or you go uh, change this spot. They'll go change the light bulb or, or fix the, the sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that. So or go change like or if, if you or you want to be with the guy who doesn't know how to change a tire. Well, uh, do you know how to change a tire? I don't right? know how to change a tire. I don't yeah. know how to change oil. But it's I know not how to that hard, but yeah. But even like a uh, little to like change oil, like I hate to say this because you don't know how to change oil, but like you would want to preferably want to be with someone who can change your tire, can change your oil. Um, yeah, i just, just take it to the shop. Just things like that. <laughs> or even like you don't want to send your girl to the to the mechanic shop by herself. Oh, you yeah. know, usually that's another thing. Like you want as a if it's your girlfriend or your or your wife, you're going to be like, hey, uh, like, can you take my car to the shop? And the man's like, yeah, I'll take it to the shop. Like, whatever, you yeah. know. Things like that. That's, I guess, how, um, uh, how do I say, like, just those things that I think women think that men have to be is the like, same thing as a guy. Like, you know, we think that girls, some certain things that you should do as a, as a girl, whatever. Uh-huh, for sure. But um, it was just really interesting to see how many people were hitting on Tate and just, like, how they just didn't like him. Yeah. And I thought a lot of it was, like, what's what's wrong with, like, thinking like just this? Just speaking his mind. Yeah. Speaking, honestly, what a lot of people think They're and, just not and yeah because like, there's a reason why uh a lot of guys agree with him and like him yeah you know like he's speaking and i don't want to so- sound like i'm part of the cult but it's like um he's speaking for a lot of guys out there yeah like he and, and and i don't, don't say have that the platform and we're yeah and i don't say that like in a corny way or in a simpy way or anything like that but I was like, he really is speaking to a lot of guys out there. Because I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there. They're probably not as confident. Mm-hmm. Right? Don't make much money. Or um, their dating life kind of sucks. You know? And, and social media is part of that. I think porn is part of that. I think, like, the whole, like, OnlyFans, all that stuff, like, it's part of it. Yeah. Of the of how, like, it messes up with the guys in the guy's head. And I think a lot of men just want, a lot of guys who are growing up. A lot of younger guys just they just want to feel like a top G, and I say top G because that's what Andrew Tate says. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, yeah. I mean, I like Andrew Tate. I hope, you know, they'll get let off, but he's about to blow yeah. up even more so, I think. But yeah. we'll see what happens with him. And uh, I think it's funny, too, how a lot of, like, when the Andrew Tate thing was trending, like, a lot on TikTok, before he got removed off that platform, or his stuff got removed, huh. um, a lot of, like, I would see, like, girl videos, like, talking about how, like, they hit Andrew Tate and blah, blah. And you just see, like, comments just saying, like, top G. Yeah. Top G. I thought that was, like, the funniest thing ever. And I feel like that would make a lot more people mad. They're like, oh, like, like I don't know. I guess people, I mean, they make this video and they, they want people to agree with them. And then on the comments, you see it's, it's top G. In support of Andrew Tate. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like, nah, bro. Yeah. Which was super funny, you know. And, and what I like about that, it's just not that, uh, it's just like the movement. It's always super cool to see, like, a movement unite. And kind of like uh, be together, like as long as it's not nothing negative. And I don't think there's anything negative about. Yeah, it doesn't really cause any violence or anything. Yeah, or just yeah. The violence, like because yeah. there's like bad cults out there. Yeah, that'll do some crazy, crazy stuff. But uh, Charles Manson type shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, kind of. Uh, see, you already finished it, bro. No, I didn't. Oh, you don't hear that? Yeah, I hear a little bit. It's like up to here. Oh, but um, yeah. So I mean. And then what happened after that, I think he got enough hate and all the way to the point where people, uh, like big people, like senators, or I don't know, congressmen, whatever they're called, like they wanted to basically deplatform him. Yeah, because he was speaking a lot of truths and I don't know. I just think I, that part I don't him. understand. Like why, why does someone like America want to silence him? Like what? Because he was always targeting like the rich and powerful and mm-hmm. how they want to keep you poor. Yeah, they want to yeah. keep you poor. They want to keep you in line they want to keep you in check blah blah, blah all these things shit that made sense and yeah that's when he was saying like they're gonna come get me because i'm mm. exposed i guess i guess it would make sense because he had so much influence with like the whole girl thing or like the woman thing <clears throat> i was like imagine if he gets people like about this about like money you know yeah i was like what if he gets like people talking about money and and like really build a uh a, a cult or a whatever he about, could. about money mm-hmm. how like the the wealth are just you know doing this and there's an agenda and like and I, th- I guess you can say like that was probably what they were the biggest fear they had then, yeah. you know, because and it makes sense. I was like, you know, most top G people they were talking about like you know women this, women that. So like imagine if he got all those people to start thinking about like, like oh we're getting fucked over by our own government. Yeah, yeah. And then which yeah. a lot of people already think that, but they were yeah. just living vicariously through him because he was speaking what they were feeling. And then they're like rally behind yeah. it like oh yeah yeah you're right yeah like that would be cool if if we got to see our uh i don't want to say like i don't know how to explain it like a lot of people got together and were like not go against our government but kind of just be like nah you guys are fucking us over big time <clears throat> like overthrow the government kinda. Yeah, yeah kind of kind of but like I, old days. I feel like we still need a government but at least yeah. a nice honest transparent uh government or whatever so um, I mean, he's free now, like like we said, and I think a lot of his content, a lot of his stuff out there is gonna just blow up. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure he's a smart dude. So I think if he figures out how to basically approach this, um, he's gonna be relevant for a long time. Yeah, and, we'll see what. And, happens and they're not gonna case. be able to silence him at all anymore. Like they're just, yeah, they're not gonna be able to. Yeah. And it and they kind of um. I want to talk about this a little bit, too, because another person that um, has kind of been trending a little bit is Donald Trump yeah. with the whole Stormy Daniels thing. And and he's another person who who also kind of got silenced after he became president. Yeah. And I thought it was pretty insane to even think about a, a president being silenced and and deplatform because of uh, I mean, I'm sure he knows a lot of things that the, the government doesn't want out there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure. But I I don't know if the if there was anything that he said that was a a little out of line. Well, I think the issue was was that uh, not for me it wasn't an issue, uh-huh. but I can understand the other side thinking that there was an issue with it because he hurt people's feelings. Like he said some questionable things, he made some questionable remarks about women, some racial slurs, about races, about all these things. But I don't think that Donald Trump's racist. No, I don't think so I th- either. I think I make racial slurs. Yeah. I'm not racist. Mm-hmm. I think everybody makes racial slurs. Yeah. White, black, Mexican, everybody makes racial slurs against another race at some point in their life. 
Donald Trump just did it publicly where everybody could hear. But there were certain things he did say, like about Mexicans, um, calling them like rapists and stuff like that. Or yeah. which which things like that is just like yeah, that's a little too far. No, it's it's know? it's a little too far. But uh, I think he is like a statistics person. Yeah. So most of the like a lot of the crime that goes on in America is mm. from immigrants. Yeah. You know, people that are here illegally. A lot of the drug trafficking, a lot of the human trafficking, a lot of the, uh, you know, stuff like that are yeah. from people who are illegally here. Mm-hmm. So I don't think he was making, and I don't know this, I don't think he was making racial slurs towards like Mexicans, like honest, yeah. good American citizen Mexicans. Well, he made it seem that way. Seem and that's that how way, I yeah. Felt. yeah. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think that he meant it that way. And I yeah. might be wrong. He might have meant it that way. But I think he was talking about like, statistics and how well this amount of crimes happen from this group of people yeah and these things happen from this group of people like and it's just the illegal the immigrants like the the cartel you know things like that Mm -hmm. um but i don't think he's because he has hardcore mexican supporters he has hardcore black supporters hardcore obviously hardcore white supporters but yeah like like you said uh i don't think donald trump's racist but i mean to what we said about Andrew Tate, there's a lot of stuff that he said is like very questionable. Questionable, yeah. And a lot of like kind of why you're why you're saying that. And I truly believe that these say these things to to get numbers up, yeah. to get attention, to be trending, things like that. Because once you start watching this part of Donald Trump or Andrew Tate, like it'll lead you to more content of that person. So yeah, I think it's all strategy. I don't think like they whatever. <laughs> like we said, like they're just not racist. I'm sure. Andrew Tate has had girlfriends or, or has a girlfriend, like you mentioned, and I'm sure there's a lot of girls that talk good about him. And I'm sure there's also girls that have a bad experience with them, and and that's yeah. it's just normal though. So, um, one of the, like he got banned off Twitter. That was pretty two, two years ago. Yeah, about two years ago. What? Why did he? I can't even see what this says. Um, I think this was around the time that the um, well, like right after he stopped being president. Right? Well, yeah, but I think it was around the time the White House thing happened. Oh, that was insane. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he got banned so they could like, because they felt like his tweets were kind of like supporting that. So no supporting or promoting it. Like he kind of did promote. I mean, he kind of did. Yeah. But like his followers, like hardcore followers, like I'm a, I would say I'm a hardcore Trump yeah, supporter, but I'm not like going to do whatever he says when he says it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I like Trump. I want him to be president. That's mm-hmm. it. I'm not going to like take everything he says to heart and just yeah. fucking do it but i think a lot of his thing was uh they looked at him like kind of like a cult leader yeah and whatever he said even if it didn't seem like it was yeah. promoting violence his followers picked it apart and were like oh he wants us to do this uh-huh. so they banned him to um get rid of any further promote promoting yeah. the violence or something like that because when they stormed the white house bro that's like but you know that's it's- pretty crazy and and we'll kind of end talking about the White House, like what happened on January six. Um, <clears throat> when that happened, that was just like mind boggling to me. Like, oh, and this isn't it, like low class citizens that did it. Yeah, this is like low middle high class citizens, yeah. like doctors and shit like that that did but this. But what was really interesting is, and they don't talk about this stuff, is that they had like informants, like FBI people, like people that were working within the government, mm-hmm. instigating them to get into the white house like yeah. like almost i don't know uh almost like kind of inviting it and and they were trying to push people to to basically commit this crime yeah and i think they wanted it to happen so yeah they absolutely to, absolutely yeah. and as much as like oh like that's crazy about trump i was like you also yes that was wrong but also you got to understand like they were welcoming welcoming that and also to like there was people within that stormed in that they wanted to make that happen to get Trump into problems and to make sure that, you know, I guess like he looks bad or like a bad, whatever it is. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You know, so that, and, and that, uh, that happens quite often with a lot of things, you know, where there's like an in, internal, like whether it's FBI or other government titles, they go and basically like with the whole riots thing too, with BLM mm-hmm. and, uh, what happened with that guy in Wisconsin? Like all those riots and uh, protests. Like there's people inside there, and they're like they work for the FBI, they work for the government, and they're just there to instigate and yeah, start some shit, start, start shit up That's to it. get other to get like the the protesters in trouble or to yeah. say like 
look what BLM's doing. Like they're causing all these riots and stuff like yeah. that. It's just crazy the links that the higher ups will go to, yeah, to get somebody else in trouble in or trouble yeah. or you know shunned or whatever. Yeah. It's just crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. What like I don't think there's any limits yeah. to that shit. And that's and that kind of sucks. I was like, man, it shouldn't be like that. It's yeah. just like let's just keep it a a fair game and. You know, if you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. Yeah. That's it. Could you so. imagine a day where, like, everybody gets exposed? Yeah. Like, all the higher-ups that did wrong or did whatever got exposed? Yeah. That would be wonderful. Crazy. Yeah. It would be crazy, but it'd be like, I feel like so many jaws would drop. Mm-hmm. There wouldn't be a lot of surprise, but I feel like some of the people that you might not expect might yeah. be in that. But that would be, that would be dope. It would be cool to see, but... Probably won't ever see nothing like that. Not in our lifetime. But uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I guess the the biggest the biggest takeaway I guess from our our podcast here is just like um, people, I guess like being silenced, and I don't understand the point of like canceling or silencing somebody. You know, it, if it goes against our constitution, not like, just that, but like honestly, like who cares? Yeah. Like you know, there's people that go they go, um, you know, they're devil worshippers or. Um, I mean, they have to have that whole Epstein thing. Like, there's just a lot more worse shit that we got to worry about than Andrew Tate talking about how you need to treat a woman or about Trump talking about um, white supremacy, which is probably not what he's saying. But yeah. a lot of people who hate Trump, that's probably how they feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of things that just I think that are, I'll let Trump supporters be Trump supporters. Like, I'm not going to get mad. I was like, good for you. You you found something that you want to support. Like, yeah. you know, whatever. Same thing with guys. If there's guys out there and Andrew Tate helps you get up in the morning and gets you motivated or, or gets you feeling confident to go talk to a girl, good for you. Yeah. Now, if you're a Trump supporter and you start calling Mexicans like wetbags or or you're a guy who follows Andrew Tate and you started calling female bitches, like that's a problem. Yeah, you obviously. Know? But um, if you're not doing anything like that, then there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing yeah. wrong with it. And and that's cool. But um, that's that. Uh, Next week. Or not next week. Thursday, next episode. Next episode. Which will be Friday. A lot of UFC. It's, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a really good We're going to have to do, both of us, some really good homework. I will. I own UFC. All you I really got to do is just watch the, the videos that UFC comes out with, bro. It'll give you everything you need to know. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I pretty much know all the fighters. Yeah. Pretty good. So, so it'll be excited. It's going to be a good one. Um, <clears throat> yeah. We're going to break it down and talk some cool details about the fight. So we'll see you guys then. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoy the three cameras. Hopefully, I fixed the color a little bit better. Hopefully, the switches are a little bit nicer than the last one. Um, did you watch the last one a little bit? I it it was really whole, cool. I watched the whole thing. It was really cool. Really nice. It was short, so it was yeah. easy for me to watch the whole thing. Yeah. I think I like doing the, the I like, short. I like the shorter ones. Shorter ones are cool. They're just boom, boom, boom. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next week or next episode, mm-hmm. which would be Friday. But I hope you guys have a good week this week. Uh, stay positive, stay strong, stay healthy. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.